As the most prestigious race of the cycling calendar, there's always a suite of custom paint jobs dotted throughout the peloton of the Tour de France. While some riders start with their bespoke bikes, others get them as and when they win stages or jerseys. So, without further ado, let's get into our favourite custom paint jobs of the 2021 Tour de France. There are a number of riders and teams who can be confident enough of a stint in yellow that a custom bike can be painted and set waiting in the wings. And in this year's Tour de France, we've been lucky enough to see two different bikes painted in the Tour de France yellow. Coming into yellow on the second stage and not relinquishing it until the mountains of stage eight, Mathieu van der Poel's custom yellow bike had a special significance. Dedicating his stage to his grandfather, this was not the time for subtle accents. The bike was fully yellow with bottle and head unit to match. Underneath the down tube of the frame, a message ends, yellow was not meant to be until now, with a reference to the fact that his grandfather was never quite able to win the Malais Jaune. After Pogaccia's stunning victory last year, it was pretty short odds that he'd be spending more time in the Malais Jaune this year. We didn't have to wait long for his custom yellow paint job to be rolled out with a blistering attack at the Col de la Colombière. This year, Pogaccia's bike is a little more toned down than the almost entirely yellow bike that he rolled onto the Champs-Élysées back in September 2020. However, the yellow touches are there on the rear triangle fork and bar tape, but the down tube and half the top tube and the head tube are all an understated black. The bike itself is a largely Italian affair with a Colnago V3 RS disc brake frame at its heart, Monoc rather than the iconic lugs Colnago is known for. The group set is Campagnolo and it's rolling on Bora wheels shod with Vittoria tyres. Having won the hastily arranged Imola World Championships road race bike back in September of 2020, a custom paint job with the rainbow bands is only to be expected. But there are many more personal and subtle touches to this bike than just the bold solid stripes of the top tube and striking dashes of the seat tube and stays. On the top tube is written JNM for Julian and Marion Roos, Alaphilippe's partner, while the outer side of the fork is a motif of a wolf a reference to the De Kernick Quicksteps Wolfpack moniker. On the inside of the fork are some musical symbols. Now, if you happen to know whether Alaphleet does play any musical instruments, do let us know in the comments section below. Not unique, but still eye-catching and done especially for the tour, Trek Sega Fredo are riding on bikes painted with Trek's latest Chroma custom paint options. Obviously there has been some highly technical development behind this new colorway, which we wish by no means to belittle when we sum it up as simply super shiny. So shiny is it that it looks more akin to anodized aluminium rather than any paintwork we've seen applied to carbon. It's got that metallic sheen usually reserved for, well, metal. For now, it's just available in two colors, red for the men's team and blue for the women's. Hopefully more will be brought out in the near future, but for now, if you'd like to buy a bike painted in either of those two colorways, it will set you back a cool $2,000. Three-time Tour de France stage winner with a nickname of Bling, it's no surprise that Michael Matthews is riding a custom hand-painted Bianchi Ultra XR4. In addition to the iconic Celeste, which will be forever associated with the oldest bike brand still in production, the Bianchi logo gets an iridescent finish, which changes colour depending on how the light strikes it. On the upper side of the top tube stands the writing, Believe, which Matthews chose because of the mental aspect of cycling, where faith in yourself can be equally as important as your physical condition. In an understated black, you'd be forgiven for presuming that this was just a standard team colorway. But the actual team bikes come with a white green fade on the chainstays and forks to match the team colors. Although not quite as flashy as the custom colorways that we've seen the Slovakian ride in recent years, there are still some meaningful details. For example, there's a badge on the seat tube in the inside triangle with his name and his national colours, which is matched by the flag on the rear of the seat post and Slovakia's national arms painted where the chainstays meet. On the top tube is inscribed legendary PS Disruption, which anyone who has followed his career over the past decade couldn't disagree with. 
So now that the show is over, these are some of the best custom paint jobs that we spotted at the Tour de France. Do you have a particular favorite? Then do let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to the Cycling Weekly YouTube channel.